Hey, what's up? It's Jared with Ditch Auto. So Sony just threw a curveball and just announced another version of the Sony RX100. Now, I just recently did a video and I actually have two videos filmed that I'm working on editing on the RX100 Mark VI. Of course, that's the latest version of the camera, the Mark V, which you can see right here, uh, is the camera that I've been using for a, a little over a year now or a year and a half, actually a couple of years since it came out now, and uh, it's a fantastic camera. So, uh, of course, I like this is throwing a total wrench in my comparison video that I already started working on because now Sony has announced the RX100 V or like the Mark 5A, which essentially is like an iPhone 6S or something like that. It's like an S series for the camera. Um, now, like I've got my other one in this bag here, my uh, Mark 6, so we'll go ahead and pull it out. I've been kind of playing around with different bags, um, and I'm going to be doing kind of like a, a bag review, I think, for uh, the RX100 because I have several different little bags that I think um, are all great. And so I want to talk about those. Um, but we have the Mark VI here, we have the Mark V here, and then somewhere in between now is the 5A. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that. It's not going to be available until probably the end of August. And so uh, we have, you know, probably a good month before that happens. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences between these two and where the VA fits into the whole mix. So with this, and if you watch my last video that I did on the Mark VI, I talk about this camera and uh, uh, of course with its different zoom range. And in the video that I've still yet to finish editing, which is 15 things to know about the RX100 Mark VI, I talk about how this one has an f2.8 maximum aperture, and it also has a different zoom range. Uh, so this camera can zoom quite a bit further than this camera. However, the Mark V has a maximum aperture of f1.8. That's something that I was like sad to see go in the Mark VI, and I talked about how it's been this. It's been this uh, 2470 equivalent with an f1.8 for a number of years uh, since, the, and then Sony made the switch to this more of a zoom. So now I don't know if it's they heard the cries of the people or early thoughts were that people still are going to want uh, what the 5 comes with. So they came out with this 5A version or this Mark VA version, and that is going to include some of the internals of the Mark VI, but in the Mark V with the Mark V uh, lens and all of that stuff. So the upgraded image processor that we get in this camera, which uh, has a little bit better ISO sensitivity, um, allows for a couple of additional features like uh, faster shooting and buffering of images. Uh, so bu the buffer is bigger. You can save the images to the card a bit faster. There's some things there that that image processor is handling that's in the Mark VI. It's what makes jumping to the Mark VI uh, a value. However, the, the 5A is going to get that. So we're, they're taking the 5 body, essentially, and putting some of the internals from the 6 inside of it and calling it the 5A. And I'm excited about that because I would much rather have the 24 to 70 equivalent than the zoom range here. I do like the idea of having the extended zoom range, but in a, the way that I'm using this camera, I'm using it in lower light situations sometimes. I typically use it as a vlogging camera, so I'm indoor, outdoor. I miss the uh, uh, ND filter that this camera has, even though it's a digital ND filter, I miss it. Um, this camera does not have that. And so with the, the 5A, it's really starting to look like maybe that's a better bet for me. I am a little bummed that I would have to wait uh, an entire month to get one, but nonetheless, I'm okay with that. Uh, and also the price is actually more comparable with what we would expect here. Uh, from what I saw online, the price is $9.99. You can get this five right now for $8.99, which is pretty cool. So if you don't necessarily care about the improved processor uh, or you know some of those other little features, the five is still a fantastic camera. It's nothing to be upset about at all by today's standards. It's still fantastic. The six, of course, I talk in my video that I've yet to put out, um, and it'll be out soon on 15 things to, to know about the Mark VI, um, that there, there are things that are different about the Mark VI, but they're not 
uh, it's questionable as to whether or not they would be three or four hundred dollars worth of improvements to go to this camera over uh, the Mark V. But now that there's the Mark 5A in the middle, it really begs the question, is that the best bet? Is the 5A the best bet in this whole gamut of RX100 cameras that are still uh, being sold today? So I obviously don't have one in hand, but I've done all of the reading up on it, and I found that it is basically an RX100 Mark V with uh, some of the internals boosted um, and improved that are found in the 6. So essentially what I believe to be left in the 6 is simply the lens. That's going to be the main difference between the two cameras, the 5A and the 6 is the lens with the different zoom range and all of that stuff. That's going to be the main difference that you're going to find. All of the internal processing, all of the things that are better on the internals of this camera are going to be found in the 5A uh, with the exception of the lens and whatnot. So now it's really going to come down to what zoom range do you want and would you rather have that f1.8 versus that f2.8 and in my opinion i would rather have the f1.8 than the f2.8 maximum aperture because i'm never going to be shooting at 200 millimeter equivalent on this camera i just I, I mean maybe but i wouldn't miss not having it it's been very few times with my mark 5 that i've been zoomed out max and thinking to myself boy i just wish that i had a little bit more zoom i would much rather have the wide aperture, the f1.8, and the ND filter in there, the digital ND filter over the extended zoom. And I would be able to save a couple hundred bucks in the mix, which I'm also excited about. So I'm gonna put links to all this stuff down in the description below. You can pre-order the Mark 5A right now or the 5A, VA, whatever you wanna call it uh, right now. It just doesn't ship until the end of, uh, of August, which is kind of a bummer. But what's cool about it is that it is the exact same body size as the 5, even though both of these cameras are really close to each other. The 6 is a little bit thicker, a little bit. And I talk about that in the 15 things to know about the Mark 6. And now I think I'm going to have to do a 15 things to know about the Mark 5A when I finally get my hands on one. So I'm kind of excited about this because I was feeling a little bit uneasy about the Mark 6. Uh, and whether or not it was going to be a good fit for me. But now that the Mark V is going to get all of the goodies that the Mark VI has while keeping the same lens that I know and love, I think that that's going to be the best bet for me. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Were you happy to see the extended zoom range here on this camera and you don't really care about losing a little bit of uh, that wide aperture that we were so used to on the previous cameras? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Is the 6 better for you or the 5A? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so share that down in the comments. And click subscribe here because I have some more RX100 content coming. Uh, people have been excited about it. I've been excited about it because the RX100 is probably one of my favorite cameras out there. It's just, you know, you can't even call it a point and shoot because it does so much. It's just such a versatile camera and something that I carry with me all the time. So click that subscribe button. Give us a like if you like this video. Check out those links in the description to these two cameras plus the 5A that's available for pre-order now. And we'll see you next time here on Ditch Auto. Thanks.